Hey pen friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Devin. And before we get into this video, I just want to thank all of you for your very kind and sweet greetings on my birthday video. I know it was a little bit different from our regularly scheduled program, so I just want to thank you for being understanding and allowing me sort of just that one little off video to kind of celebrate and share my gratitude for having another year of life. But for today's video, we're back to our pen and paper goodness with a monthly roundup of favorites for October. This first favorite that I wanna share with you, I'm afraid to butcher the name, so I'm just gonna leave it linked in the description box below, as well as links to everything else that I talk about so you guys can check it out for yourself. But this company is actually based in New Orleans, and from what I saw on their website, they do fountain pen inks, glass pen inks, limited edition pens, wax and seals, and leather handmade goods. What I have here to share with you today is their ink called Red Beans and Rice, and this was actually an ink sent to me by my pen friend Daniel, so Daniel, thank you so much for sending this over. What is so special to me about this ink, other than it was chosen by my pen friend, is that it's not an ink that I would have chosen for myself, but it's turned out to be one of my favorites. The name itself, Red Beans and Rice, is pretty intriguing, but what's awesome is when you lay it down on the page, you look at the ink and you're like, Yes, that is red beans and rice. And this ink color really reminded me of the Sarasa Vintage in red black. So I went ahead and swatched that for you as well so you can kind of see. The red beans and rice I feel has a little bit more brown and then the Sarasa Vintage pulls more red, but they definitely fall in that same wonderful, rich, red, bold ink family. From what I can tell so far, this ink is pretty well behaved. I just have it in my Daiso fountain pen and it's been a magical pairing. This is a one ounce bottle and again, I'll have links in the description box below if you guys want to check it out. Next up, I want to talk about the Daiso Hauser pen and this is a pen that I first featured in my five awesome fountain pens under five dollars video. If you haven't seen it, I'll have it linked off in the description box below. But I did find this pen at Daiso, so it was a wonderful whopping $1.50, and at that price I of course had to try it out. It's just a nice knock around, on the go sort of pen. This pen does come in two colors. I have the sort of clear, transparent, grayish purple color, and then it also comes in a transparent blue. It came with two black ink cartridges, which I much prefer to have if you're gonna throw in an ink cartridge over having blue ink, but that's just my preference. What I found really interesting about this particular Daiso styled fountain pen was that the nib size wasn't labeled on the packaging, so if I were to give you my best guess, I think it's probably a medium size nib, but just looking at the size of the nib itself. It's very interesting. It feels like it's trying to be a hooded nib. If you look closely, the nib kind of curves around the feed. It's sort of like it's hugging it. I've never encountered a nib on a fountain pen like this before. If you have, please let me know in the comments section below. But I guess structurally maybe that is what's helping the pen lay the ink so rich and so bold when I write with it and that's why I really really like it. I have another favorite from Daiso and it's these sticky notes but in particular I've been really enjoying these sort of film stripped sticky notes. I haven't quite found the right words to describe it but here is a pack that has two different types of sticky notes in terms of the texture and so these ones where they're sort of like transparent those are the ones that i'm talking about versus the paper ones the paper ones are still cute and i always like to see what their selection is at daiso when i go but in particular these sort of sheer transparent ones i've really liked i found them to be a lot more durable than the regular paper sticky notes the only drawback is that 
you can't really write on these ones because they're so slick. I think you would have to use like a Sharpie and then let it dry if you wanted to label these sticky notes. I like using sticky notes in my notebooks and planners to mark off pages and I like reusing them as much as possible. I'm the type of person that kind of doesn't want to be wasteful so I'll use sticky notes until they're like crumbling and then I'll finally you know give in and toss them out so I really like that I can use these and switch them around if I need to and get a lot of use out of them. Daiso has a lot of really cute designs they have these ones that come with just the sort of slick transparent sticky note style that I've really been enjoying or you can look for these little combo sets where it does have the paper option and then you have your sort of like slick transparent sticky notes. If you know what they're called, please let me know. But texturally, I feel like that's the best way that I could describe it to you. I would love to hear from you what you've been enjoying this past month, whether it's stationary related or not, please let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe and turn on those notifications. That way you don't miss any of my videos. You guys can also connect with me on Instagram at Devin Lou. That's with two N's and two U's. I do my best to upload here every Thursday evening, so please take care until then. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.